gas is now above three dollars, the highest level since 2008, and soon the price could reach five dollars. At least that's the prediction. John Hoffmeister, former president and CEO of Shell's U.S. operations, he's also the author of the book Why We Hate the Oil Companies, and he joins us now. John, good to see you. I have noticed um, the price of gas, and I've been looking at different gas stations, and I've noticed that it's gone up very high. And you say five dollars by 2012. Why so high? Several things are happening simultaneously, Nora. First of all, U.S. demand has gotten just about back to where it was in the 2007-2008 period when we had four dollar plus gasoline. Secondly, Asian demand is higher than it's ever been. While we were in recession, the Chinese people were buying more than 30 million cars and more millions of trucks. They all use gasoline or diesel. And during this time, we have learned nothing and done nothing about the hurricane of high prices coming back at us since 2007-2008. The 111th Congress didn't pass a single energy bill. We have a moratorium de facto on drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. We're setting the stage to do ourselves in on high gas prices. When you say do ourselves in, you think this could have a serious effect on the American economy just as we're trying to get out of this slump? It'll suck the disposable income right out of people's pockets the same as it did in 2007-2008. If you're a $100,000 a year person, you don't care. But if you're minimum wage, you're on fixed income, you're living a marginal temp job life as it is today, you can't afford $4, $5 gasoline. And, and all John, of those why isn't it that, that as some, have, some who have said that we have got to have a new energy policy, that we have got to have more uh, fuel efficient cars, that we've got to have a gasoline tax in order to deal with this whole thing, why wouldn't a higher price on a gallon of gas sort of force Congress, force politicians to finally deal with this issue? The problem with the planning as it's been put forward so far is it's all about the future, the longer term future. Higher mileage cars, great. Uh, batteries, hydrogen fuel cells, fantastic. But we have a here and now which we refuse to deal with. The here and now is 250 million cars on the road, tens of millions more cars in the next five years that only use gasoline. And the reality is we will not drill. We use 20 million barrels a day. We produce seven. I've been saying for years, let's get back to 10. If we got back to 10, it wouldn't solve the problem, but it would certainly help, and it would create jobs in America instead of us paying people overseas to, to produce the oil that we buy. No doubt. Uh, we're heading toward disaster on this. Let me also just ask you about BP oil, uh, because certainly this was a tough year for BP oil. It was a tough year for the people down on the Gulf. And now we hear uh, analysts saying that uh, BP is in strong financial health. They're going to generate $26 billion in cash flow um, next year. Why is that? Part of it is the high price of crude oil. When it's $90 a barrel or $100 a barrel, the amount of production, BP is around 4 million barrels a day, and at $90 versus $70 at the time of the spill, that's a whole lot more cash generated, which will pay a lot more of the damages that BP will still have to pay. I've always said they're a healthy, strong company, but this is going to put a big dent in their capital spending plan, but it does not threaten the company overall. John Hoffmeister, putting a little coal in our stocking with that $5 a gas, buddy, but <laughs> thanks for the, uh, for the warning and the, the dire prediction. We should all get smarter about fuel efficiency. Thanks so much. Thank you. And up next, a new